So today we have Tyler DuFord from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry. Tyler, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course, of course. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, if you can, please give us a brief summary of your dental school journey. So where you're from, where you went to undergrad, what you major in, and did you take a year off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I am from Vieira, Florida. It's um, 45 minutes south of Orlando. I did my undergrad at Florida State University and I majored in exercise physiology. I did decide to take a gap year. So what I did was I graduated a semester early because I knew that I didn't want to study for the DAT while I was doing classes. I kind of just wanted to focus on that. So instead of applying my junior year, like most people do, since the application process takes about a year, mm -hmm. I decided to just apply my senior year. So that way I just had time to solely focus on studying for the DAT and kind of just taking that mental health break that I needed before I jumped right into professional school. Okay, okay. And, and I'm sorry, so right now you're currently a D1, correct? Yes. Okay. And so let's backtrack. So you wanted to solely focus on your DAT. Um, and mm -hmm. I'm assuming you did well, you know, you're in dental school, you're in uh, U Michigan, great school. I, I know you did well. And so, you know, I think a lot of our uh, viewers, they really want to know, like, what's the secret, you know, like, what's that number one tip or, you know, the number one resource that you recommend in order mm -hmm. to do well on the DAT? Yeah, absolutely. So for me, what I did, um, I made sure that I had no distractions and I planned a schedule out and pretty much stuck to it. You wanna make sure that you have that detailed schedule so that you aren't trying to think, okay, what do I need to study today? You already know, so you're not wasting time. Mm -hmm. And for me, DAD, DAT Bootcamp was ideal. It already gives you the schedule, it plans everything out, all your resources are in one place. And for me, that really gave me the headspace that I needed to be able to prepare well and, um, study the things that I needed to study and not waste thing, waste time on things that I didn't need. And I also 100% recommend having a rest day, one day where you don't do anything, you just, you know, focus on yourself, focus on your mental health, family, friends, all that good stuff. Awesome, awesome. And so um, I was gonna ask you, did you do any type of like pre-dental experiences um, with University of Michigan? Like, do they have any type of thing for like, pre-dents who are interested in going to the dental school, like any type of feeder programs or anything like that? Yeah, so I personally didn't do any pre-dental stuff with the University of Michigan, but I do know that since I've been there, mm -hmm. um, their undergrad has a pre-dental um, society and it's really good. I know that they're involved with um, the dental school because they're, they're right there, right? Not a lot of undergrads have a dental school attached to their school name. So I know that we have things like our American Student Dental Association will mm -hmm. do like a pre-dental day and they'll get to kind of see how a dental school's life is and come play in our sim lab and do things like that. Um, I know that the Student National Dental Association, they invite you know the pre-dental to King's Feast, which is just a big um, dinner where alumni and faculty and staff come to kind of su support the diversity that Michigan has at the university um, and pretty much celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. and how he's kind of given us all the opportunity to learn in a, such a diverse environment. And I think that's a great opportunity to where they're able to meet, you know, the students that they'll be surrounded by and faculty and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'd say they have a couple of, couple of things couple to of get people involved. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And so uh, you took your DAT, you did well, uh, then the interview. So can you kind of walk us through your interview date? Yeah. So at the University of Michigan, they do a thing called MMIs, which is multiple mini interviews. Mm -hmm. So for that interview day, we pretty much got there, had like a small little breakfast. And I want to say, I don't remember the exact amount, but I want to say it was about 25 to maybe 30. 30 people could be less could be more mm -hmm. um, and we kind of all met sat at a table and we had you know the basic presentations financial what the school has to offer statistics and things like that um, we got like a little journal a little notepad things like that and then we went on a tour of the school and then we had our interviews after lunch so they didn't go straight into the interview like some other schools did they kind of let you get a uh, accustomed to um, students that you could talk to, um, faculty, alumni, 
And then during the interview, you talk, there was little stations and each station had a prompt except I think one. And the prompt was just kind of like, is there anything on your application that, you know, I can't see that you want to tell me. But other than that, um, everyone had a prompt. And I personally enjoyed it. It was one of my favorite interviews because I got to talk to 10 different people. It wasn't just one person saying, oh, yes, I like this person. No, I don't. It's 10 people collectively saying, this is what I liked about her. You know, this is where I think she can offer to the school or, you know, maybe, you know, I don't think she's the best fit. So for me, I really enjoyed it. They had topics from, and they, they weren't hard at all. It was, you could easily answer the question. They had some like uh, ethical questions, um, some just to get to know you type of questions and things like that. And they change every year, but um, for me, it's one of my favorite interviews that I went to. And so I wanted to ask you, you know, what was it that made you, you know, really finalize the decision to go to University of Michigan amidst getting other interviews from other schools, other acceptances? Like, what was that thing that made uh, University of Michigan uh, ideal for you? Yeah. So for me, what I liked about the University of Michigan was that when you, I mean, the University of Michigan, they already have their name established. They yeah. could easily be an institution that's like, well, you're lucky that we're taking you into our school, but they weren't. For me, it was like, you know, we have such an amazing alumni community and we want to show you how you can be successful and whatever you want to do, we can help each other in that aspect. And that really stood out to me because what I wanted was a community that I could, you know, be proud of that I'm a part of, and that can help me grow and do the accomplishments that I want to. And so for me, Michigan was that school and I really enjoyed it. Awesome. Awesome. And so, like we said, you're in your D1 year now. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people just like information about what it's like to be a D1 at these specific schools. So, if you can, can you kind of like walk us through what your first year has looked like so far? Yeah, well, my first year, it has been, honestly, it's been wild. It has been a wild ride. Um, dental school is just something that, you know, people talk, oh, it's so hard, it's all this, but you don't really know it until you're experiencing it. Um, I'm so lucky that I have a class that is so collaborative and just so they, they're just always helping each other. It's like, hey, like I made a study guide for this. Hey, like, remember that this is due. Hey, remember, like, just, they're just so great. And it's kind of like a little family and you really need that in dental school. And so if I've learned anything from my D1 year, it's that it's kind of, how do I put this? It's very stressful. I will say it's very stressful, but dental school also kind of, helps you to be so um, helps it pushes you to your limits mm -hmm. right it pushes you to your limits and it kind of helps you grow as an individual you mm -hmm. kind of say okay you know I'm putting in all this work putting in all this work why did I not get an A on this test and it kind of reminds you that you know it's not about getting all A's at this point it's about attaining as much information as you possibly can so that you can be the best future provider that you can be yeah. um and so d1 year even though it's been stressful and it's been hard and there's been tears there's also been laughter and friendships and getting to know faculty and just knowing that you know no matter what happens if you fail if you succeed that you're always going to have that community beside you and that it's just a growing process it's it's a growing pain and, and so are y'all currently uh getting any type of like clinic exposure or are y'all yeah. doing like didactic classes right now so my d1 year it's it's we take i want to say like fall semester we take about like our summer semester we took about like 12 credits and then fall and winter are the big credits so in fall we took 26 credits mm -hmm. and then winter term which is the term that we're in now we're at about like 27 credit hours and so it's it's a lot and we do have pre-clinic but since um the outbreak of um the coronavirus we actually had to cancel our pre-clinic mm -hmm. um which was unfortunate but so currently i'm just doing didactic now um but pre-clinic um when we were having it it's probably one of the 
best things because you're getting to learn your hand skills, right? Like that's why you love dentistry because you love people, you love working in people's mouths and all that fun stuff. And so, yeah. Awesome, awesome. And so, you know, I'm asking everybody this question as far as like, what makes their school specific? Like what's something that you've seen at University of Michigan that you feel like you wouldn't be able to find or see at any other dental school? Yeah. So at the University of Michigan, something that is so unique and special, I think, um, is just knowing that you're surrounded by professors that are world renowned. Like they are professors that wrote the textbooks that other dental schools are reading. And it's, it's good because it's like you have the source, like the right. source that did the research that found the things that people are looking at. And to have that access and be able to just go up to them and just pick their brain, for me, that is something that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole lot of other institutions that, you know, have still good professors and things like that. But Michigan, it's just, it's just amazing in itself. And so for me, that's something that, that stood out for me. You selling it to me. I'm like, hold up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it. I'm, tell us forever. Tell us forever. But anyway, no, that's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. And so uh, for the last question, I did want to ask you, you know, if you were to go back in time and talk to your younger self while you were going through this application cycle, what's the one piece of advice you would uh, give yourself in order to maybe even become more, um, more attractive as a, as a applicant or, you know, mm -hmm. something with regards to, you know, your mental status going through that stressful time. Yeah. You know, what's one piece of advice that you would give yourself? I would 100% say, I would tell myself, you know, you know what you have to offer. You've put in the work. You have the grades. You did well in DAT. Just relax because like they're interviewing you, you're also interviewing them. Urgent. The application process is a mutual application process. It's not just like, oh, like I hope someone picks me. It's like, once you got that interview, it's like, okay, I, I want you, but I want to see how well you will you know click with the rest of the people at the school because you don't want to go somewhere you're not going to be happy right. um so for me that's what i would have told myself because i feel like a lot of the times as pre-dental it's like ooh, like you know the application process it's rough it'll get you um but no one really said tells you like hey like you got this be calm they picked you for a reason so many people apply and for you to get an interview that means one you caught their eye to begin with so just relax be yourself and just show them how great you are i like that i like that tyler thank you so much for giving us your time today yeah. if any of our viewers have any questions uh, is there a way that they can reach out and contact you yeah, absolutely. They can um, definitely email me at um, Tyler, T-Y-L-E-R, Fells, F is in Frank, E-L-L-S, 9, at gmail.com. Um, and then they also um, personal message me on my Instagram account if they'd like that. Um, it's dds.dimples. Um, and yeah, I'm always, always available, always happy to help. Dentistry is my passion. People are my passion. So. That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much once again from, from us here at Future DDS and the Future DDS family. We really do appreciate it. So thank you. Absolutely. Happy to help. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Um, if you have any questions for us over here at Future DDS, you can always shoot us a DM at underscore Future DDS, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But until next time, see you later.